Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take a look at the new Twyla from the Monster High Creepover Party line. Uh, this one is probably one of my favorites from this line. She's really, really cool. Um, this is actually my first Twyla, so I'm really excited to get her out and, and take a look at all of her details. So stay tuned as we do that. Okay, so let's take a quick look at her box. So nice big open window here. We can see the doll and her accessories, the Monster High logo, as well as the Creepover Party King. There you can see Creepover Party. All the little fun stuff that goes there. Her UPC, uh, she's pretty much everywhere now. On the back, of course, we have the artwork. A little bit about the doll. You can take a, a moment there and pause if you'd like to. Of course, the uh, Monster High logo is on the side. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get her out. Like I said, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, so I have Twyla out now. And of course, this is the daughter of the Boogeyman. So I think that's pretty fun. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at her accessories first. So the first thing we do have is her little sleep eye mask here. So little bunny ears, of course, to match her little hood that she's got there. Some spider webs on there. Some buttons, really cute. And of course, there's a little button in the back. If you do want to actually put it on her head, it will stay. She also comes with, um, what is this? Oh, Intro to Talismans. It's a little like spell book almost. So cute little thing. So we can get it to focus. There we go. Um, yeah, it's kind of fun. Intro to Talismans. A little book there. And then, of course, we have her cell phone. Um, so right now you can see there's just a few apps on there. Kind of cute. Um, yeah, little bunny on the back. Why will not focus? There we go. And then, of course, her coffee cup as well. So we do have, it's got some stars on there. The top has got a uh, spider web. And then we have what I think appears to be... Yeah, I think it is. I had to take a quick, close look at it. A little hair clip. So it looks like a little lock and key almost. Um, so I think that's a hair clip. Correct me if I'm wrong. We also have a half-bitten Pop-Tart. <laughs> Basically a little scary pastry there with some maybe scream cheese in there. I'm not quite sure, but that is pretty cute. And then we also have Dustin, her rabbit. Very interesting name. E not gonna lie, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> super super creepy um but of course it matches in with everything else with like the button eyes and all that and then of course we also have a backpack which like the old day coin purses if you squeeze it pops open you can put all the accessories in there if you want and of course then slide it onto her shoulders so cute little backpack there now of course just like the others she does not actually have a stand this is the manster stand that i use for my reviews um let's go ahead now and take a look at twyla herself um, so she does have this really cute, um, like little bunny rabbit hat, I guess, if you will, hood maybe to keep her curls nice at night. I'm not sure. Um, it's very loose. It actually just can come right off. It's actually tied right there. I actually, you know what? I'm going to take it off. There we go. Okay. I like Twyla without that. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead now and take a look at her without that hat on. So she does have some very curly bangs there, purple and teal very ghost-like appearance kind of like a Madame Leota look almost um, we have purple and teal hair of course in the back needs a little bit of a cleanup here it's kind of messy um, box hair is always a lot of fun coming to her face of course we have the new gen 3 face mold looking fantastic I do like it I like that the highlights are buttons I think that's pretty fun she has kind of a metallic sheen to her lips purple eyeshadow purple eye makeup teal eyes she has spiders for earrings I think that's a fun cute touch coming down she does have on her sleepwear, of course, so we got this really cute um, top here, kind of like a, uh, what's the word, like a gym short material almost. She has a belt here that has a little bunny rabbit with a knocker on it, and then she also has a black satin bowl. It is Velcro enclosure. She also has, and you can see here, this cute little mini skirt that's got a couple of layers of ruffles and then spider webs and spiders all over it. She also has a um, bracelet here that has a little timepiece. That's her watch, of course. And then I love, I love her legs and her arms have it too. Kind of like that, you know, swirling mist of the boogeyman. I think that's really kind of neat. Uh, I do like that effect quite a bit. And then she has on some purple spider web high heeled shoes. And then if you look here, there's like little windows where the boogeyman can come through at night. <laughs> I think that's really kind of fun. So, and then if you flip it upside down and look, you can see there, we've got a uh, little spectral ghosts. It looks like something yeah uh, on the bottoms of her feet as well as little bunny rabbits so really 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 cute um i do like twyla quite a bit range of mobility of course you can move her head all you want uh shoulders elbows and then of course at the hands and her hands are actually more purple than her body so that's kind of interesting i just now realize they're more pink than 
than her, her body, which is purple. So of course, wrist. She also has a joint there under the bust line and at the waist, you can uh, fend, bend her forwards and backwards. Legs can go out, in, backwards and forwards. And then at the knee, of course, we can pivot and bend all you want. So lots of range of, of motion here. If you do uh, take photos of your dolls, she certainly does give you ample opportunity to pose her in any way you'd like and take some really, really nice photos. So there is the Twyla um, new Creepover Party doll from Monster High. Now, one really cool thing I did want to mention, I'm trying to get it so that it'll work. Twyla's eyes actually glow in the dark. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys. I'm going to try and see if I can make it as dark as possible. Might not work. It has too much light coming in. Um, but her eyes actually do glow in the dark. So again, just kind of a fun little gimmick. Um, I wish I could get dark enough where you could see, but that is pretty cool. I think some of the other ones do that as well. Um, I think like the Great Scarier Reef, some of those glow in the dark too from the older uh, releases. But Twyla's eyes definitely do, which adds to her, you know, boogeyman scariness. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, I forgot to mention that. So just an FYI, um, in a dark room, if you've got Twyla, make sure you put her up against a light bulb for a little bit and then turn the lights off and you will see. That is going to do it for my review of the new Twilight Creepover Party Monster High doll. Thank you guys for joining me on this review. Also, massive thank you to Kelly for sending her to me. She is so cool, and I absolutely love her, and she's probably one of my favorites from this line. So thank you so, so much. I do appreciate it, bud. Also, guys, thanks for watching. Hope everybody enjoyed. If you have any questions about this item or any other item in my channel, just leave those in the comments down below. Hope everyone's having an extra magical day, and we will see you real soon.